Welcome back to Uncorked, everyone. I'm your host, Bobby, and today I'm here with special guest, Chuck Nix, who's come all the way from the Jackson metro area. Absolutely. So I'm the sommelier at Table 100 in Flowood, Mississippi. Uh, I came to Starkville because Bobby said she had some good wine to drink, so I came with my bulldog tie on, ready to sip. So today we're taking you to Napa, California with Mathiasen. So Mathiasen is a winery that started in 2003 by Jill and Steve Mathiasen. Steve Mathiasen used to be the winemaker at Duckhorn in the 90s. And him and his wife started this amazing project. And they've actually been nominated for a James Beard Award six times. I think this is their year. Yeah, let's hope so. Um, interesting. You said that uh, the winemaker was once upon a time uh, part of Duckhorn. And it's great to note that Mathiasen does have some really, really um, special Merlot vineyards. But we're not drinking Merlot today uh, in our red glass, but in our white glass, which is very interesting color. Yeah, so we've actually decided to go kind of off the beaten path into some more um, wines that people haven't really heard about or might not be grabbing for yet, but will after this episode. So this first one is going to be grape peach wine. This was made just this year. So Mathiasen grows Fay Alberta peaches on their vineyards that they give to restaurants in the Napa area. But because of COVID-19 and restaurant shutdowns, they weren't able to sell their peaches to restaurants this year. Um, a lot of them were going bad and they didn't want to lose all the crops. So they started blending it in with their leftover Linda Vista Chardonnay grapes to make this a really fun wine. Now go ahead and try it. Yeah. This wine drinks like a sour beer. So if you're a sour beer drinker, this is it. And I got to tell you, uh, there are some awesome notes, right? The peach shows up with awesome fruit flavor. The acidity is crisp. Um, and look, the, some of the solids that are in the bottle from using the peaches in unfiltered and organic and biodynamically produced wine, I got to tell you, there's a lot of complexity. There's a lot to talk about. We could be here all afternoon. Oh yeah, 100%. This is a brunch okay. wine, 9.4% alcohol. So you can sip on it all day um, and not have a headache the next day, honestly. But yeah, so they use all biodynamic, um, well they have some biodynamic vineyards, but they use all organic farmers and vineyards. So the next one we have is the 2015 Rafosco, which Rafosco is an Italian variety. An Italian variety, and we're talking Northeast Italy, a uh, Veneto area where you uh, Rafosco originally comes from. Uh, you take that grape and you bring it to California with the uh, climate that is paired up and perfect and you get this fantastic wine from Mathiasen. Yeah, and this is really delicious, lots of bright fruit. It's got some nice, you can taste a lot of earthiness in it just because their vineyard sites have some of the best soil in Napa. I gotta tell you, look, just on the nose, I always find the sign of a good wine when I just have fun smelling it. And mm -hmm. there's so much on the nose. I mean, the fruit is dark, uh, the, uh, the earthiness is apparently there. There's a lot of complexity just on the nose. I highly recommend picking this up. I think you'll be thoroughly um, pleased with your choice. This is gonna go great with steak, so many other options. It's just, it's easy to drink. Thanks so much for coming, and we'll see y'all next week on Uncorked. Cheers. Cheers.